This is the third in the short video series on how to solve the Rubik's Siamese Cube. It is a handmade cube, as you can tell. Uh, you have solved the first two layers on the first cube. You, you may have done it on the second cube, and it, in which case you should have this nice block all the way around. But if you haven't, it's only on this cube, that's just fine. So now what you're going to do is just in same as in the Rubik's Cube 3x3, you want to get the top cross meaning you flip all of the last corners, uh, the edge pieces, so yellow is on top of every single one. So let me get it here. The first case is where you have just a dot, which means all four of the edge pieces are not flipped properly. So what you want to do in that case is, it doesn't matter how you hold it, you want to do a small r, u, r prime, u, r u2 small r prime and that will get you this small l shape if you look at it this way it looks like a small l now when you have the small l you position in the top left like this and you do a algorithm very similar to that one uh... it is the exact same actually you do small r u r prime u r u2 small r prime and that will get you the cross on the top layer now the last case is let's see if i can get it for you here is where you have a line which is just three of the pieces you want to line it up so it's horizontal and you want to do the following algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and that will make it so you have the small l position the top left and do the small l algorithm which is small r u r prime u r u2 small r prime and now you have the top cross now i will go i will do the top cross on the other cube here just as an example as you can see here i have the small l which means i position it in the top left and I do small r, u, r prime, u, r, u2, small r prime. Now I have the cross on this cube. Now, the next step is to get yellow on top of every corner piece. As you can tell, you already have yellow on top of the cross here. Now you just want to get yellow on top of the corners. Now there is two algorithms you need to know in order to do this. This case I have right here is the easy one where yellow is on the front here and the three that need to be changed are in the back back here and the front all you want to do is r u r prime u r u2 r prime and that will match up all of the yellows on the top but let's say i didn't have that let me do a random scramble here let's say i had this where i have these two what you want to do with any case is make it so that there's a yellow in the front right of the cube. And now I'll just do R U R prime U R U2 R prime. That got me to these two flipped. So now I put yellow in the front right. Do the same thing. R U R prime U R U2 R prime. And now I have these. And this is where the second algorithm comes in handy. If, as you can see, no matter what I do, I can't get a yellow into the front right. Because uh, it's always on the right here, on the back, or on the left. So this is the other algorithm. What you want to do is position it like this. So the piece in the front right, and then the two other pieces are on the left side. And you want to do an R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime and that will get yellow on the top of every piece. Uh, there are only seven or eight ca seven cases for how the corners could be flipped. So now let's try this cube, this one, just to show you an example of how to use them. What you want to do is, you see how I have all four aren't flipped. So I want to put a white piece, since white is my top color here, on the front right. So I can do it by just doing that. And I want to do an R, U, R prime U R U2 R prime. Now you see I have these two. 
and this case is a tiny bit different. Uh, when it's like this, no matter what you do with that first algorithm, you'll always get back to that with these two switched on the outside. So what you want to do is position it so they're on the outside like this and do the first algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that will get you to this one again. Now put position one in the front here. Do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now you'll have these three and you can get a white one in the front here and these two in the back need to be switched as well as this one and you do the first algorithm R U R prime U R U2 R prime and that will get all of the top color on the top by switching the last four corners so now in this step I have solved the top cross and I have flipped all the corners so that the cross color is on the top and same with this one I have the cross and I have flipped all corners so the cross color is on the top. Now, if you will find the next video in the tutorial, I will show you how to move the edges around without changing the color on the top in order to solve your Siamese cube.